So I've been sat here weighing my ingredients for a cake and someone's just told me that weight isn't actually weight. When you weigh something, you're actually measuring its mass and that weight is something completely different. Now, in order to experiment and find out what that means, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a Newton meter. So come and join me and I'll show you how it's done. To make your Newton meter, you're gonna need some scrap cardboard, two paper clips, an elastic band, and your elastic band needs to be able to hold and carry some weight, a bag or a cup, a paper cup, something like that. And then you're going to need some scissors and sticky tape and a pen. And then you're going to need um, either some 100 gram weights, or you can do what I've done, which is get some scales. And I've made my own 100 gram weights by measuring 100 grams of lentils in a pot. And then you're ready to make your Newton meter. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to get your scrap card. I've just cut mine into a strip and I have used uh, sticky tape. I've actually used quite strong sticky tape to make a long strip. Now, obviously, if you've got a long bit of cardboard, you don't have to do the sticky tape bit. Um, but I've made sure that I have got a long strip of card. Then what you need to do is you need to get your split pin. And what you do is you put your split pin in the top of your cardboard. It's as easy as that. The next thing you need is your elastic band and your two paper clips. The first thing you're going to do is fasten one paper clip to one end of your elastic band and then, it can be a bit fiddly, but you're going to put your other paper clip on the other end of the elastic band. Whoops, mine keeps coming up. It does take a bit of a fiddle like so. Once you've done that, super easy, grab your paper clip and put it over the top of your split pin and just give it a bit of a tug to make sure that it's secure. So as you can see, I've hung my bag onto my elastic band. Now weight, as we have said, is actually measured in Newton's. So who knew? When you're weighing out your ingredients for a cake, you're actually measuring mass. And we measure mass in grams or kilograms but weight is actually measured in Newtons. Now, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because if we got in a rocket and we went to the moon, the gravitational pull in the moon is very, very different. So we would weigh differently if we were on the moon. However, our mass would still be the same. I've not uh, lost any part of myself. I just am on a different planet or a moon with a different gravitational force. And so that's why when you're measuring things for your baking, you're actually measuring an item's mass. And when you look at weight, you measure in Newtons. And that differs dependent on where you are. Now for us, we're on Earth. I hope you're on Earth. And on Earth, 100 grams of mass equals roughly one Newton in weight. And so that's how we're going to calibrate our Newton meter. Now, the first thing to do is when your elastic band is loose and you don't have anything in it, you're going to measure the bottom of your paper clip and you're going to put a zero. Then in your bag, you're gonna put your 100 gram um, mass and that might either be a scale weight or as I've done, I've put 100 grams of mass into one of these pots and you can see I've already done it. And when I lift my Newton meter, you can see that it stretches my elastic band and where the bottom of my paper clip uh, finishes, I am going to measure one Newton. So this item is 100 grams of mass and it's one Newton in weight. Now, in order to calibrate my scale a little more, I'm gonna put another 100 grams of mass. And so that means in my bag, I have 200 grams of mass. And in weight, that measures two Newtons. And so as you can see, my elastic band um, has fallen a little bit more and the bottom of my paper clip 
I've measured two newtons. And you're going to keep going, depending on how long your cardboard is, and you need to make sure you keep your cardboard pretty sturdy, but you can measure your uh, newtons using 100 gram masses. And you can keep going until you have a few different measurements. And then you have your newton meter. And so you can go around the house and you can get lots of different items and you can put your bag on the bottom of your newton meter and you can work out how many newtons uh, these items are, what their actual weight is, not what their mass is. And if you want to be really super scientists, you could measure different, make different newton meters. You could maybe find out what 100 grams of mass would be in newtons on the moon. Or you could find out what 100 grams of mass would be in newtons on some other planets. And then you can write Earth, and then you can make a variety of newton meters. And then you can work out how would my scissors weigh differently on the moon or on a different planet compared to Earth. So I hope that helps and I hope that inspires you to make your own Newton meter and get experimenting.